everyone and welcome to Cooking with the Tinkers. I am Katie this Tinker is... and this is my youngest son. Hey, this is gross. It's gross? You're not supposed to eat it by itself. So I am Katie Tinker. I will cut it. I will cut it. I am an independent Epicure consultant and I have started a series called Epicure A to Z. So I'm basically cooking my way through the catalog. The first uh, video I did was about our Alfredo, and you can check the description below for a link to that video. So this one is our Aloe Gobi mix. And this is a curry-based product. I want that. You want that? Yeah. I'm gonna hold this up here. Trying to cook with a three-year-old is very nerve-wracking. So this is our ceramic knife, which really makes quick work of items. Oh my gosh. Okay, so aloe gobi. It is a vegetarian curry dish. It is made with potatoes and cauliflower, peas. No, we're not doing that. And lentils for protein. All right, well, honey, we're not cutting much right now. Now, I have cut up the cauliflower ahead of time just because I needed to clean it really good. I'm going to try and cut with that. All right, honey bunny, where's your knife? Let's find your knife. Helpers who need to help. Honey, you can't cut with that. Why don't you grab a butter knife? Grab a butter, grab a butter knife. Okay. Uh, so I usually don't do videos with the kids, just so I can actually focus on what I'm doing. But no, that's not a butter knife. Do you know what? It, this is a butter knife. This little one. Okay. It's not sharp. Okay, you can cut that one, okay? okay. So first thing we're gonna do is chop up our potatoes and our cauliflower. So I'm gonna cut the potatoes pretty small just to make sure that they cook evenly. Okay, oh wait, other way, flip it. That way. No push. All right, I think that'll be better for you. So I already cut up my cauliflower. I'm gonna cut the potatoes pretty small and even so that they cook nicely. And I'm gonna use our multi-purpose steamer to cook them in the microwave. So they should only take about five minutes or so. And then if you wanna save time, you can use frozen cauliflower, frozen oh, potatoes. Like a gem. Good, like a gem, good job. So that'll really help cut down on the prep time. I am all about shortcuts. My new favorite thing is canned potatoes because it helps save time. All right, now I'm gonna put this back here so I keep it away from little hands. All right, and then here's my cauliflower, four cups of cauliflower. We're gonna throw that right in there. All right, how's that piece looking, bud? Is that all done? No, all right, wait, remember, flip it over. See that little scratchy part? I'm gonna put that there. Honey, you're like cutting it, you're cutting it like super teeny. Okay, now we're back for part two. The potatoes and cauliflower are almost done, so we're gonna move on to our saute pan. I love this thing. To finish cooking up everything on the stove. So I'm gonna put that on. Use about two tablespoons of cooking oil. All right. Yeah, I didn't measure. And then we're gonna add our seasoning. Okay, medium high heat. Add seasoning, stir until fragrant, about 45 seconds. Add potatoes and cauliflower, stir to coat. So we're gonna put in a can of lentils for our protein. Now, if you don't like lentils and you don't wanna keep this a vegetarian meal, you can absolutely use chicken or whatever protein you like. So I'm gonna throw this in. Mix this up really good. Just in about 45 seconds. So a little bit about Epicure, if you're still with us. Thank you. <laughs> Epicure is a Canadian company that just recently came to the United States about three, four years ago. So we can serve customers in the U.S. and in Canada. And the thing I like most about Epicure is they focus on quality ingredients. Oh, not 
just went everywhere. So you're not going to find any artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners in our food. Everything is made with plain ingredients that you can recognize. So it's in here. So we have spices, garlic, onion, chili powder, tomato, mustard, sea salt, cilantro, black pepper. Can't get more easy than that. So there's no preservatives, no junk in our products. And I love that. And the biggest thing for me was everything is gluten and nut free. So I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning because it was a little chaotic with all my children running around and going crazy. So let me stir this up. Make sure I don't burn it because that wouldn't look very good, would it? Are we fragrant yet? We're getting there. Uh oh. I had medium low heat, it was not medium high heat. So and now we're going to play the game to see. Who finishes first, me or my phone battery? Because my battery's about to die. Does that happen to you? Yeah. All right. Whoop. Out. Be careful because it gets very hot. Anyway. Woo. There we go. All right. So I'm going to assume these are done by now. Just dump that in there. So this is off. I do like this because there's a handle on each side, so it is very convenient. Oh my gosh, I'm playing potatoes here. I feel like I forgot. We'll find out. Oh. Alright. Mix that in. Where's my directions? Because you know I'm not going to remember. Stir coats, stir in one can drained, and rinse lentils. Oh, half a cup of water. So I do need half a cup of water. I'll get that in a minute. I was say, I'm like, I thought that looked a little dry. Half a cup. And these little glass beauties are our one cup prep bowls. And the nicest thing about these is they have measuring marks on the side. So, here we go. Finish that. I've got my lentils strained and ready to go. And all this stuff can go in the dishwasher. Which is really nice because you don't want to have to do a whole lot of cleanup after you're done cooking. Okay. Maybe this way. Like that kind of, uh, so, two tablespoons.